Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors on a special Labor Day edition. Hope you all have a great Labor Day. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's such a, it's such a salute to the American workers in honoring the strength and prosperity of our country that's brought to us by just simply by the American worker. It goes in all fields, you know, from garment workers to power line workers and, and just all fields. And I've always been, I've been honored to, uh, to be a part of a Labor Day like you have too. So hope you have a great Labor Day. Just all the workers off today. Deservedly so. It started way back like in 1882, been doing well over 100 years, and it's quite an honor. And America is the only uh, country in the world that has a Labor Day. So we, we're proud to do this, and I'm proud to uh, have you this Labor Day edition of Panhandle Outdoors. Now, we've got a good show lined up. You're going to enjoy it. We'll get started with our weather, brought to us by Haney Technical Center at uh, 767 5500, the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. Run by and check them. They're closed today now. But tomorrow they'll be open. If you run by and talk to them, some of those counselors there will be glad to help you get guided in the right direction if you need to get some more uh, educational uh, stuff behind you. Now, let's take a look at our, we always want to start off on Monday. Uh, let's look at our tide chart first. This is first Monday, look here, September 3rd, and we're going to start this week off in some neat tides. Not much tide to flow at all until the weekend's going to come about. When the weekend comes about, we'll get a little bit of tide, but really we just don't have much of a tide right here. For the next three days okay and then also on, on Monday we always like to get started on every Monday on our famous Monday moon phase and what we want to do now we had a big full moon this past weekend and now we're getting into a, a waxing stage we're looking at September 3rd I'm, I'm sorry it's a waning stage it's, uh, this weekend you're gonna have exactly a half a moon we had a full moon this past Saturday night and a full moon this month again is gonna be uh, closer to the weekend way, way down toward the end of the month like the 29th, and that's always a special day. That's my daughter's birthday, so I can remember, she, I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna get her a full moon for her birthday this year. That's, that'll be a good present for her, okay? So that takes care of our weather. We're gonna go ahead and take our break, and we'll be right back. A new carrier heating and air conditioner system from Mills Heating and Air can save you money every month. Thanks to energy efficient technology that can help lower your utility bill. Buy a carrier system now from Mills Heating and Air. Turn to the experts at Mills Heating and Air at 850-234-8177 or go to millshvac.com. That's 850-234-8177. For lower bills, call Mills. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of colors and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our website and click shop. You can also check out our selection at Sun Jammers Water Sports on Panama City Beach. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team. When you need to get the job done, you want the powerhouse of engineering, reliability, and value that is Kubota. And right now, during our 40-year strong celebration, get zero down and 0% APR for up to 60 months on new Kubota subcompact tractors, compact tractors, or zero-turn mowers. Join the Kubota movement, 40 years strong, serving the American dream. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soil Tractor today. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sun Jammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need, rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, fly bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. All right, welcome back. Glad you're with us this Labor Day morning. Now, we got a show lined up with really good stuff, but, you know, we're talking about September. What in the world is going on in September? Uh, and it's, I always consider September like a transition month in the outdoors. We sort of, you know, Labor Day is at the end of the summer. It's the official end of the summer, and now we're beginning the early fall. It's still going to be warm and humid a little while, but it's, it's what I call a transition month in the outdoors, and a lot of things going on. The water temperature will start dropping just a little bit because the angle of the sun is sort of coming down a little bit. 
Also, uh, the game's going to stir a little bit, and, and the migratory route's going to start becoming uh, a reality to these fish and these game. So, uh, but some of the things happening here in the area, don't forget, the last weekend of this month, uh, the Florida Catfish Trail, the Flathead Catfish Tournament will be held. The last tournament of the trail, they have four tournaments. Now, the last tournament will be the last weekend of this month. Now, we wall at Gaskin uh, Landing there, the end of road landing, and uh, we're going to try to get down there and see those folks. And have, they'll have a trophy and all for the winner of the, the aggregate weight of all four tournaments and all, and also the winner of that tournament. So you know, we'll talk more about it. Uh, that's just something going in September. Also, uh, remember, uh, Blue Water Outriggers has their big online uh, – tournament going on. I got to find out what fish they're trying to catch in September. I'm guessing, I'm guessing a flounder, but that's not official. So I'll check with them sometime this week and let you know what, what fish if you fish in that online tournament. Okay. Now, the, like I say, the fall run and we've got hunting season coming up right around the corner. You know, uh, one month from this weekend now, uh, the opening of, of a dove season, always the first w Saturday of October, then right after that, remember Ken Fairmore was telling the squirrel season is going to open a month early. It's going to be the weekend after dove season opens. So a lot of things going to be happening in October, but, but September sort of kicks it off and get things started. And fishing, uh, I know everybody getting their cast net out, getting ready to catch some mullet, and also getting ready for the fall run of, you know, the pompano, the Spanish, and the, fall, and, and the pompano and all going to start running. So we're going to introduce this fall run. We're going to I have a short video on uh, catching some pompano. So Jeff, let's roll this video and see what we do. Hey folks, we're down here today at St. Joseph Peninsula. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite kind of fishing, or my favorite kind of fishing anytime you put a hook in the water. But this is surf fishing for pompano. I've done this a long time and I really enjoy doing it. Basically what we're gonna do, have a surf rod set up. We're gonna fish with sand fleas. We're gonna fish with uh, some artificial sand fleas too. So we're gonna mix it up. We're also, uh, what's great about a pompano, two great things about a pompano. One thing, they taste really, really good. Second thing, they're a fighting fish. And you'll see if I'm lucky enough to catch them today, you'll see the big wide body and they'll fight really hard in the surf. So they're a lot of fun and I'm hoping I'm gonna have a good day. I want you to come join me. Pompano, caught him on a sand flea early in the morning. Good side keeper there. Get on up. I've been fishing a couple of hours this morning. I'm gonna call it a call it quits for now. Had pretty good luck. I caught a one, a two, caught three this morning. It wasn't a bad morning. Uh, had a lot of fun. There's a really strong pulling fish. Of course, they're gonna taste good for supper tonight. I'll put a couple of them on the grill. 
caught them on uh, some real sand fleas and also some artificial sand fleas. So if you get a chance, just come down here. Uh, it's easy fishing and fun fishing. I'm Winston Chester for Panhandle Outdoors on St. Joseph Peninsula. Panama City Beach is known as one of the top dive destinations in Florida. Divers Den offers daily dive charters that can accommodate up to 13 divers. Our boat captain is U.S. Coast Guard certified and a paddy dive instructor. We have trained professionals who offer a variety of scuba certifications. Come see us at our two locations on Thomas Drive and Tendall Parkway. When you're looking for sales, parts, and service for your outboard, all in one location, you're looking for BJ's Marine. You're authorized to Hatsu and Nissan dealer. BJ's Marine does it all. They have outboard parts and a service center and used motor sales, too. To Hatsu, reliable, dependable, fuel efficient, and lightweight. To Hatsu Outboards, technology for the next generation. BJ's Marine, 1317 Transmitter Road, since 1991. A new carrier heating and air conditioner system from Mills Heating and Air can save you money every month. Thanks to energy efficient technology that can help lower your utility bill. Buy a carrier system now from Mills Heating and Air. Turn to the experts at Mills Heating and Air at 850-234-8177 or go to MillsHVAC.com. That's 850-234-8177. For lower bills, call Mills. Blue Water Outriggers, everything you need for outdoors. Whether you're fishing off the piers, surf fishing, or heading out to the Gulf, Blue Water Outriggers has what you need. Live bait, fresh water, salt water tackle, rods and reels, clothing, marine supplies. Hottest brands, greatest prices, friendliest service. BWOfish.com, shop online. Open seven days a week, 30 miles east of Panama City. Blue Water Outriggers. Ah, welcome back, folks. You know, we're talking about uh, early fall. September is always early fall, getting ready for all kinds of things going on. Uh, the uh, King Michael run is be good. We're getting ready for freshwater fishing, uh, cooling off a little bit, you know, good bass fishing, all, all this good stuff going on. But one of the things I like to do, too, in the fall, I love to do offshore fishing in the fall for snapper and, and grouper. Of course, snapper is closed now, but we haven't heard of any, any uh, inkling toward having a weekend open for snapper. But anyway, if you get offshore and do some good uh, bottom fishing, amberjack's good, and any of this. So that, we're going to uh, run this video now on catching some nice grouper off the Indian Pass uh, boat ramp, okay? Hi, right, folks. I'm fishing today with some folks I know real well. Frank Ansley. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Frank was in one of my early outdoor ed classes. <laughs> yes, I was. And we we fished back in the back in the day, didn't yeah, we? Sure did. Got well, me out of an algebra test. <laughs> don't tell <laughs> don't tell people. I still get in trouble for that. We did school early one day. Long, this is a long time ago when you could do that. And you, you introduce your friend Matt. This is Matt and Kubiak, good okay. friend of mine. And Matt, you're originally from Cleveland. Cleveland, okay. Ohio. Do much snapper fishing in Cleveland? Walleye. Walleye, okay. So walleye fishing Sunday. Uh, oh, cool. And our sp very special guest, Miss Ansley. <laughs> Angie Corbin Ansley. I, now, I coached Angie. Angie, we had, I had you in basketball. Yeah. Angie was a great athlete, Mosley, in, 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 I started to say football, but in <laughs> basketball, <laughs> softball, and volleyball. And got a volleyball scholarship to Troy State. Right up there, and this year she started teaching PE with us, and we we're just thrilled to have her. And Angie, are you gonna catch the biggest fish today? I hope so. We'll see. Angie Corbin, Angie. Okay, we're gonna load them up and go. We ready? I'm ready. ready. All right. Wow. Folks, here's something you don't see every day—a floating porta potty on a pontoon boat. Gotta go. Gotta go on a pontoon boat. How we doing, Matt from Cleveland? Ready. You got to put a hook on it now. That's my problem. <laughs> Our Matt got a bent rod. Look at here. He was down maybe five seconds. First snapper. Oh. Okay. Well, right next to, 
All right, Frank. We got two poles being. Folks, we've been here maybe Andy a minute. Up. They're up in the water. They're, They're right. up high. See the fish in the water up there? You see, you can see the fish down. Look at all the snapper up in the water, coach. Probably good okay. show. Wow. You can see, folks, you can see the snapper up here. Look at that. That's a nice one, Frank. Goodness gracious, folks. We've literally been here a minute. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> They're still up here in the water. They're right underneath the boat. All right. Oh, All right, okay. Angie, Angie and Frank hooked up side by side. <laughs> That's a good fishing. Nice. Oh, I lost mine. Okay, Frank lost his. Angie still got it. Hold on, Angie. They have it. Woo! He struggled. That's that's a big fish there. Big fish. Look at that bent pole. Work it, Angie. Doing a good job. Not as big as I thought he was. Yeah. I still have a nice snapper. All right. Keep him because he swallowed it. Ah. Angie, that'd be good. What do you think? Good. Are you tired? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, I got Frank bowed up over here on a. You were jigging, Frank? Yeah. yeah Angie, you got one on. Taking a lot of drag. It's just a baby. Oh, that's not a snapper. It's a, that must be something else. They're coming towards you? Yeah, I think he got off. Something after yours, Angie? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Black right snapper. Black snapper. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah, that was a monster fish. Keeper? Yeah, that's a keeper. It's a pretty black snapper. How'd you do it? Because we'd not like to fill the ball with Nice black snapper. Frank, yours come off? Sure did. That was a good fish. That is a grouper. Got a grouper? Got something crossing over there. Uh oh. Ah, free spool it. Walk over this way. Free spool it. Well, I've not gone. Okay, just get yours in. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Still got him, Angie? Yeah, she's he's down there. Something else following him. Oh, yeah. Another big fish following him. Let's see if I can catch him. A red snapper. Nice red snapper. Very good, Angie. Let's see him. Angie got another one. They're going to turn out to be the Angie show. Matt, you got one? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can't get three on the time. All right. Frank's going to throw his jig out. No, that's red. Oh, nice. Look at that snapper. Nice one there. You want this one, Frank? Angie, what do you got? A beeliner. A beeliner. Good job. Folks, what we're doing now, Frank has hooked up a uh, trolling. We're going to troll with some kings and uh, going from spot to spot. So uh, we're going to see what we do with that. We're going to take this commercial break and we'll be right back. On the water or under the water, success starts at C&G Sporting Goods. C&G specializes in fresh and saltwater fishing tackle, floundering supplies, spare fishing equipment, and much, much more. C&G also has licenses, maps, and expert advice on where to go. For over 59 years, C&G Sporting Goods has been the headquarters for the outdoors man. Fishing, hunting, camping, guns, and ammo. They've got it all. C&G, over the experts, downtown Panama City. When you have work to do, 
Get it done with the powerhouse of engineering, reliability, and value that is Kubota. And right now, during our 40-year strong celebration, get zero down and 0% APR for up to 60 months on new Kubota utility and ag tractors and tractor loader backhoes. Join the Kubota movement, 40 years strong, serving the American dream. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. Bill Kramer needs to buy vehicles outright or take them in on trade. Our pre-owned business is great, and we need your vehicle this week to supplement our pre-owned inventory. Get a 15-minute no-obligation appraisal. We're buying Fords, Chevys, and Cadillacs. We're buying Toyotas, Nissans, BMWs, and more. You name it, we'll buy it. All years, all models. Nothing too old, nothing too new. Bill Kramer is buying them all, and we will not be outbid at Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Are you still waiting to do something with your IRA, 401k, annuities, or other investments? My dad has an economics degree from Vanderbilt University, and he helped me with my homework. A lot of people call themselves financial planners, but my dad passed a board exam to be a certified financial planner. He's very easy to talk to, and he spends a lot of time with me. To my existing clients, thank you for your friendship and loyalty through these uncertain times. And to everyone else, don't wait until it's too late. Call me today, and let's see if I can help. Trolling rod is hooked up. We got Matt from Cleveland. <laughs> and do you think he's gonna land it? We'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we troll over the spot and got a hit and turn around and come back over and got it hooked back up again. Yeah. Frank, what do you think it is? Uh, I think it's probably a bonita. You think it's a bonita? Bonita or a kingfish. What do you think he's gonna need if he catches it? <laughs> He might need a pop. Pop. Yeah. Okay. I think that's how it is. That's what he calls it up there, a pop. You doing good, Matt? Did he dive on you? Yeah. There he is. Look at Snapper. Snapper is that good? It's a red snapper. Folks, we troll. Listen to this. We got this with a troll. Tro Goodness gracious. <laughs> Not a bad one. We were trolling. We got this red snapper. I don't know how we hooked him. We throwed over at the We caught the only one out there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> Angel's over here. Oh, man. Here he comes. That's a nice one. Yeah, we're going to start going. Oh, it's pretty, Angel. Nice snapper. Good job, Angie. <laughs>
That's gonna be ah. a Definitely <laughs> get this one that Matt's got over here. I just, look, look how he's hooked, y'all. He's yeah. just oh my barely Lord. hooked. Yeah. Okay. This one's a good one. All right. He's gonna need to be gas, I believe. Okay. Right here, Frank. Oh yeah. Not as big as I thought he would be, but he's good. I'm trying to get him. I might not be. Everybody might be sick watching my video. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice snapper, right there, guys. Whoa. That one look good. Good job. Still not the 20 pounder we're looking for, but. Nice one. Frank, it's been a good trip, buddy. It's a good one. It was a good time. We got back in about middle of the day. Well, really, about 12 o'clock. That's perfect yeah. timing. Yeah. Limited out on rest and apple. Despite we're having somebody from Cleveland on the boat. Matt enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. it was a good time, wasn't it? It was fun. Angie? It was fun. You did good. Thank you. You'd rather be fishing or working? Uh, fishing. <laughs> All right, Van Halen Outdoors on a rest and apple trip. With Frank Angie, Angie Angeli, and Matt from Cleveland. <laughs> All right, let me get a picture. That's some nice fish. Hold one up. Hi, welcome back, folks. We're doing a special Labor Day show, wrapping up uh, this show, but it's been a, been a great show. I've been glad to break it to you, but keep in mind now, we're just beginning September, early fall is here, all kinds of things going on. You want to start getting your food plots ready, start making, checking your deer stand, make sure you might want to be building some deer stands. We're going to try to build some ground blinds this year, but uh, you know, maybe want to fertilize your food plots and fresh water. Uh, you know, go ahead and start finding your holes and check the water levels, and there's all kinds of things going on. I was making a list while that video was running. Uh, uh, you want to be maybe shoot some targets. You want to ar archery practice. You know, get that bow out in the backyard and be shooting at a bale of hay or some kind of target. You know, we had a southern family on last week practicing. So make sure you get some archery practice in because we ride around the corner from archery season. In fact, it'll be opening up here. Uh, we got it right here uh, in, in October, okay, right around the corner. So keep in mind all that practice is important. So anyway, uh, on, on fishing side though, this is uh, you know, like I was talking about a transition month. I keep hitting on it now. Tomorrow, Bill Adams going to be in. Bill's going to be talking about some catching some redfish in the fall and also some speckled trout in the fall. Bill is an excellent red fisherman, speckled trout fisherman, and he'll have that on. He'll have a guest with him probably, and uh, we'll we're going to be uh, taking a day off finally, and we're going to uh, be back to the next day. So we've got a great week planned. We've got a great month planned. So all we do is ask you to just you know support our sponsors, watch the show, and we'll bring your A game every day and. And we're just proud to be here and, and uh, see most of y'all to work tomorrow, it looks like, okay? Let's wrap things up on a special Labor Day edition of Panhandle Outdoors. You have a great day today. Try to do something good for somebody, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.